Do not debate Quran 2946. I'm not sure how clear it could be. Quran chapter 29 verse 46 in part states, do not debate. And I know this is not easy for Muslims to accept that debating is against the Quran. That debating is haram. Because it's in our human nature to want to debate, to want to argue. God mentions this in Quran chapter 18, verse 54. God says, mankind is argumentative. So this natural feeling of wanting to debate, wanting to argue, is a feeling that we try to make the Quran match. But the Quran is clear. Do not debate. Quran 29, 46. Now I know Muslims who are in the spirit of argumentation will say, no, 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 no. Quran chapter 29, verse 46 says, and do not debate unless Unless what? Debate? <laughs> you think Quran chapter 29 verse 46 says, and do not debate, but debate. Or if you think the word is argue, you think Quran chapter 29 verse 46 says, do not argue unless. Argue? No, of course not. Quran chapter 29 verse 46 states and do not debate but have dialogue dialogue is peaceful communication dialogue is where the muslim explains who the muslim is and then the muslim listens to the non-muslim explain who the non-muslim is and boom that's it nothing else that is based on the Quran. Dialogue. Quran chapter 29 verse 46 is telling the Muslim, do not debate, but have dialogue. Dialogue is peaceful communication. Dialogue allows the Muslim to stay in the full peace. And it is a command by God for Muslims to be in the peace completely. This is in Quran chapter 2, verse 208, which in part states, be in the peace completely. So if you're debating or arguing, you are not in the peace completely. And this is not easy to accept. I know. I used to debate all the time. And I still fall into debates now. But... That doesn't mean debating is not haram. I'm not going to make the Quran fit what I believe is true. I need to let the Quran tell me what is true. And the Quran clearly says, do not debate, do not argue. And this is freedom. When you realize debating is haram, when you realize arguing is haram, you are free from trying to convince someone that they are wrong and you are right. God frees us from this burden. This is throughout the Quran. So when you have a disagreement with someone, you tell that person, your religion is your religion, my religion is my religion. Quran 109.6. Do you see the freedom in that? Do you see the freedom in that? And what's interesting about Quran chapter 29, verse 46, it's telling the Muslim, do not debate the people of the book. So the Muslim is being told, do not debate the Jewish adherent. And Quran chapter 29, verse 46 is telling the Muslim, do not debate a Christian. And what happens? You go on YouTube and you see Muslims debating Christians. 
And Muslims usually debate Christians. This is what's happening on YouTube. Rarely do you see a Muslim debating a Jewish adherent. So if you see a Muslim debating a Christian, they are doing something haram. And if you are debating a Christian, you are doing something haram. And I know it's not easy to accept this fact that debating is haram, but it is haram. So Quran chapter 29 verse 46 states, and do not debate, but have dialogue. And for those who do wrong, do not even have dialogue with them. You just say peace. This is in the Quran, Quran chapter 25 verse 63, which states in part, when the ignorant address you, say peace. Do you see the freedom? Just say peace. There is no compulsion in the religion. Quran chapter 2, verse 256. See the freedom? There is no compulsion in the religion. Your religion is your religion. My religion is my religion. When the ignorant address you, say peace. It's beautiful. And Muslims need to know that debating is haram. Arguing is haram. Now, I'm not telling the Muslim to do anything or not do anything. If you are a Muslim and you debate, go do your thing, debate. But debating is haram. Arguing is haram. And this needs to be known because Muslims who are new Muslims go online, they go on YouTube, and they see Muslims debating. And the new Muslim does not even know that debating is haram. And the new Muslim is spun into this energy of not being in the peace completely because they're watching a debate. And there's no way that debating is in the energy of peace. So the new Muslim is not in the energy of peace. And what's going to happen eventually is the new Muslim is going to leave Islam because they were never in the peace completely. Because they see prominent YouTube influencers debating. And the Quran tells Muslims, do not debate Jewish adherents, do not debate Christians, all the way down to do not debate atheists. The Quran says in Quran chapter 2, verse 6, no matter if you warn them or not, they will not believe. So why are you debating an atheist? The Quran says, no matter if you warn them or not, they're not going to believe. So debating is Haram. And I started thinking this because a few weeks ago, I posted a short of Asim al saying that debating is Haram. And he went as far as saying watching debates is Haram. So Muslims do agree that debating is Haram. Asim al states that debating is haram. Watching debates is haram. And when I posted this short, Muslims lost it. They left nasty comments. I think I might have gotten more dislikes on that video than likes. Because Muslims do not know that God says in Quran chapter 18, verse 54, that man is argumentative. And they fall into the trap that, oh, this feeling of wanting to argue means that I should argue. But the Quran is saying, don't argue. The Quran is saying, do not argue, do not debate. The Quran is encouraging dialogue. 
And this is what the Muslim needs to understand. And that short about Asa Malikim saying that debating is haram and watching debating is haram is mind opening for me because I didn't realize how many Muslims do not know that debating is haram. And Asa Malikim in that short, and I'll post that short in the description below, and I'll post the video where I got the short from, is saying that watching debates is haram because there's not enough time to unpack what someone says against Islam. So watching a debate may lead a Muslim astray. That's why he says watching debates is haram. And what I'm saying is that debating and watching debates is haram because it does not allow you to be in the peace completely. There's no way that you're debating and you have a peaceful heart because it goes against the Quran. The Quran in Quran chapter 2 verse 256 says there is no compulsion in the religion. And there's other verses that say do not try to convince others that you are right and they are wrong your religion is your religion my religion is my religion Quran chapter 109 verse 6 when the ignorant address you say peace these verses are all throughout the Quran and it's important to understand this as a new Muslim in today's world where social media platforms reward negativity. Social media platforms rewards debating, arguing. And as a new Muslim, you're going to hop on YouTube and be spun into this world where you can't be in the full peace. So do what you do. I'm not telling you to not debate and I'm not telling you to not watch debates. Do what you do. Um, but just know that debating is haram. Watching debates is haram. And yeah, that's basically it. And slams.